Hello, Hello YouTube. YouTube. All right, here we are, period two, making our second video. It's kind of exciting. So, so we have. So as I just, well, as we were just talking about, we don't have that much time. So you all need to study for this. So you don't need. So you don't have to retake it. There's not much time. The very last day you can retake it is Friday. That's it. So. So we have, like, oh, there's my stuff. Okay, so we have four skills. Four skills. Evaluating expressions, which is just like um, the, the menu, right? The menu, the menu, the menu, right? Yeah. Finding a price of something. Right, everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then distributive property, which is those arrows. Right, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Combining like terms. Now, combining like terms. Do we use good guys, bad guys, or do we use Dorito Man? Uh, Dorito Man. Good guys, bad guys. Oh. Good guys, bad guys. Good guys, bad guys, because we're adding, subtracting these things, okay? Be careful. That's really important. So you might make yourself a huge note, okay? Combining like terms is good guys, bad guys. It's using the scoreboard, okay? What about for factoring and distributive property? Good guys, bad guys. Ah, are we multiplying or are we adding subtracting? What are we doing? Dorito man. What are we doing? Are we multiplying or adding subtracting here? Everybody. When we do the arrows, what are we doing? Multiplying. 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 You're right. So it is. Dorito man. Dorito. Come on, everybody. Dorito, Dorito, Dorito man. Dorito man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So it's important you remember that distributive property and factoring is Dorito man. <laughs> And combining like terms is adding, subtracting, so it's good guys, bad guys. Okay, so let's get started. So, at the beginning of our extraordinary YouTube video for the YouTube world, we have... Oh, I need to get his code name. His code name is Afro. Okay. Afro, coming all the way from Los Angeles, let's hear it. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, sir. All right. How do we do it? Uh -uh. So, the five, the five equals five. Um, the f. F equals five. Okay, the f cool. equals five. So, you see, if you see the two, uh, you multiply five times five. Very good. So I'm gonna rewrite it with parentheses because that's what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So five with a squared on top. Yes. Plus three because the f became what number, everybody? Five. 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 Smart. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead, sir. Now what? You, you said five times five, right? Yeah, five so times five. What does that five. make? That's, that makes twenty-five. Yep. So twenty-five plus three. Mm-hmm. And our answer is. Uh. Twenty. Uh, twenty-eight. Excellent. All right, let's give him a hand. Woo! All right. Next we have uh, Emerald coming all the way from the Emerald City. Let's hear it for Emerald. I'm excited. This is my this is my very first time that I have like the calligraphy on my screen. That's kind of fun. Okay, pick a color, any color at all. Um, purple. Purple. I think this is purple. From far away, it's hard to see. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so now if you could help me write it with parentheses, that would be good. Can you? Um, don't you put the three in parentheses? Right. So For what am I right? What's the number I write first? Eight parentheses. Right, so eight and then parentheses three. Excellent. And then you put two parentheses. Careful, negative. careful. What's the Oh, two? negative two. Yeah, negative two parentheses. I like she didn't say minus. That's excellent. So negative two parentheses. Uh, parentheses negative two. Excellent. All right. Now what? Now you multiply excellent. eight times three. It is. 24. Good. So 24. And now we have to be careful with our negatives. So what do we use? Uh, Dorito man. Very good, because this is multiplying. So we get two negatives make a positive. Okay. Um, that equals 4. Plus 4. Good. And the answer is? Uh, 28. X. 20 what? 28. Yep, 28. Wow, that's the same answer. I didn't make this review, but that's interesting. Amen. 
Okay. Is that what everybody got? 28 and 28? Same answer, right? Did we do it right? I think we did. No. We did? Evan, we, did we do something wrong? The X and the Y? What about it? Um, they, don't, they can't go together. No, but we knew what the value was. So this is evaluating expression. No, you're right. If we did not know the value, we would not be able to simplify. That's correct. But since it does tell us that X is like X boxes are three bucks and yogurt is negative two bucks, right? Okay. That is a good point though, Mr. Evans. Okay, next person is burst. Burst reduction. Right? Burst reduction. Let's hear it for burst reduction. I don't know what that means, but that's the person we're talking about. So people aren't clapping at all. I'm going to get in trouble. You got to clap a little bit. No. You're doing number three. You can do it. We're going to multiply. Come on, go, go, go. Okay. So what do we do? Burst reduction. I don't know. Uh, five times three? Yes. So we're going to make, but we're going to draw something first. What? Parentheses? No. She said it. She said it. Did you hear her? No. Arrows. Oh, why do you draw arrows? We need to draw arrows. Because that'll help us know what to multiply. So what number are we multiplying first? Five. Yes, yeah, so we need to draw the arrow from five to what? To what? The three. Good. So we write the arrow five to three. And the next arrow? Five to ten. You got it. Okay, good. The arrows help us. Okay, five times three is? 15. 15x. And the next one? 10 or 50. Yes. Plus 50. Are we done? Uh, yes. Yes. And that's what Evan said. We're done. We can't add those. Let's okay. Go. Now this has to be on everybody's paper. I'm checking it tomorrow. Okay. Come up. Whoever's next. Whoever's next. Quick, quick, quick. quick. We don't know much time. So this is Eminem. Let's hear it for Eminem. Thank you for clapping. Appreciate it. Okay, Eminem. Let's do um, 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 green for Eminem. Okay, how do we do it? So we first, we put an arrow with negative 4 and negative 2x. Good. And then we multiply them. Okay, I'm going to put the second arrow too, though. From negative 4 to? Oh, negative 4 to negative 5. Good. Okay, so negative 4 times negative 2. Which is 8. Good. But how do we know it's positive? Because we use Dorito Man? Yeah, so we need to use Dorito Man for both of these, which is both positive. two negatives equal positive. Equal positive. Okay, so we get 8x. What's the next one? Uh, 4 times 5, which equals 20. So do we do positive or negative? Uh, positive. You're right. Excellent job. Let's hear it for... Oh, no. Next one. Hurry up, hurry up. It is code name. Okay, code name. Pick a color, any color. Red. Red. Okay, here we go. What do we do? So, we first do 3 times x, which is 3x. Okay, I'm putting my arrows. Don't forget your arrows. 3x. Okay, now. And then 3 times 5, which is 15. Uh-huh. So, the answer is uh, 3x, negative 15. Okay, how do we know it's negative? Um, read a man. Very good. So, we, we do the 3 times negative 5, right? Careful, and we get negative. Good, good, good. All right. Next person is kind of running out of time. Um, 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 um. Where's my code name? What's your code name? Echo. Okay, Echo. Go ahead. So first, um, we do one half times four. Okay, I'm gonna do arrows. Okay. We're in a rush, so I'm gonna do it quick. Okay, one half times four is um forty. No. Thanks. Careful. A half. It's the other way. What's a half of four? Two. Yeah. So two X and then same thing. Half of ten? Five. Good. You got it. Okay, we gotta go quick. We gotta go quick. So it's now it's Thrasher. What? Shark. Yeah, shark. What? You changed it? No. It's just Thrasher. Thrasher Shark. That's oh, so both. Oh, so she's Thrasher Shark. Okay, Thrasher Shark. Let's go. Pick a color. Let's go quick. We Blue. Go quick. Huh? Blue. 
Hello? Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, first, you add the 7x and the 5x. Yeah, and what do we get? You get uh, 9x. Careful, 7 plus 5. You get 9x. No. What's 7 plus 5, everybody? 12x. Uh, uh, Sorry. Okay. And then what? Oh. Uh, and then we add what? Um, then you, then you use good guys, good guys versus bad guys. Right, for these two. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you put the six under negative and the nine under positive. Good, so good guys win by? Three. Good, all right, we're done, cool. All right, we have very little time, so you know what? I'm sorry, everybody that wanted to be on YouTube. Uh, I'm just going to have to do it very quickly. Shh. Please don't talk. Thank you. All right, so negative 2y, neg positive 7. So we're going to do good guys, bad guys. So this is positive 5y. Okay? And then positive 8, negative 10, I'm going to go quick, is negative 2. Okay, good guys, bad guys. I go quick, right? Positive eight, negative ten, bad guys one by two. Okay, sorry, I'm going quick, but all right. Now, factor. What's the number we can divide into both of these? Two. Two, but we need a bigger one. Eight. Eight. Eight is the biggest one. So this was actually supposed to be Hello Kitty. Sorry, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Do you want to just yell out the answer? Okay, it's eight parentheses, because we're turning this like Jeopardy, right, everybody, back to distributive property. So we get 1x, because we're dividing both by eight, plus two. And then you don't really need that one, right? Yeah. So if it's a multiple choice test, it's going to be just x. All right, here we go. Next one, what do we divide by? Negative seven. Remember, that has to be negative. Now, negative divided by negative is a positive one again. Negative divided by negative is a positive. So what I mean by that is that 21 and 7 both need to be divided by negative 7 because you're taking it out, right? You're taking it out. So negative 70 by negative 7 is positive. They're both a negative divided by negative, right? Got it? Yes. Okay, and again, same. Now, this review is a little weird because both of these are the first number, right? We divide it by the first number. There is, careful, one second. There is one question on the test where it's not the first number. For instance, just hold on, you'll be okay. Wait, 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 don't back up. Eyes up here, eyes up here for one more second. You'll be okay, you won't be late. I'll wait for you to put your eyes on the board. Everybody, eyes on the board. Eyes on the board. I'll wait. You're making us late, people who aren't paying attention. All right. So if this was 8 and 18, right? 8x plus 18. Then we couldn't divide by both by 8, right? So it could be something like 2, and then that would be 4x plus 9, okay? So it's not necessarily going to be that first number. Do you understand? Yes. Cool. All right, bye, YouTube.